Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Valorant Console and my updated settings ever since my last settings video. Some things have changed, and honestly, I have adapted the holes in my gameplay, and I kind of adjust it based on what I can do with my settings. So let's get right into it. So first things first, uh, rotate map with player. I always turn this off because I like to see the whole map without the map being completely changed. Um, I like to also turn off change orientation based on side i like to keep a one map in particular on at all times i don't like it when it's flipped uh keep player centered i turn this off completely that's just me always show regions names so it's just for callouts mini map size i like to have the size as big as i can however zoom out and for the mini map vision cones i turn it on content filter whatever it's up to you privacy wise Funny enough, if you're streaming, however, I would recommend turning some of these on. So obviously you have to allow crossplay. I would always recommend allowing crossplay on so you can play with your Xbox comrades. However, hide my name from players outside my party and use generic names for players outside my party. That's what I started been doing, or that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. So apparently my stream last night, I was getting stream sniped the hell, apparently. And the only reason why I know this is because some of the stream snipers eventually got on the same team as I was and they told me I was like god damn so this is why I had a, such a long night last night yeah so the, for now on I'm going to be turning these on auto reject friend requests and stuff that's honestly up to you depending on if you're a big streamer or not or you're a small youtuber who's paying a lot of friend requests I just keep it yellow for the accessibility settings uh show bullet tracers always on turn off tips Depending on if you're a lefty or a righty, I always turn on righty because I'm a righty. And English, USA, the language for me. So for me, I know I'm a bit different than most people. I obviously, for my profiles, I use default. However, for my preset, a lot of people use Valorant. However, I like to use Tactician. That's just me. That's just my personal preference. Because I like the crouch button in my L2. And I don't mind jumping because you don't jump a lot. You're not supposed to jump. This is not Call of Duty, right? So jumping in and labeling it to L3, that's fine. So for my buttons, nothing else has changed for my buttons. However, the aim, the aiming mechanics have definitely changed. What I feel like in my original settings guide, I was I was able to pretty much win majority of my gunfights, mostly because not a lot of people had proper movement. But once you get to the immortal area, radiant, and maybe ascendant, a lot of people's movements are a lot better. So what I started been doing is increase my base vertical and horizontal sensitivity seven just so i can adjust for the sova darts and the fade eyes and all that fun stuff and then i adjusted the focus horizontal sensitivity where i increased the vertical so the up and down because i increased it just by a bit just so just in a situation where i need to micro adjust i can for especially for the people who crouch a lot going from three to four is definitely just for a compensation for the amount of people who crouch when they spray and then the fo focus horizontal sensitivity is for the white peaks a lot of people white peak, especially at the Immortal and Ascendant area. And uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. So that's why I pretty much boosted it from 5 to 7. Uh, for the ADS, that's honestly up to you. There's nothing really... That's all about preference, to be honest. When it comes to sniping, I've actually had some luck at 6. Again, I'm not the biggest sniper right now. I will become a bigger... Like, I will definitely divulge my sniping habits, especially when ISO gets goddamn nerfed. All I'm going to say. So for focus ADS priority, I like to f prioritize on focus. And for focus ADS behavior, I always stick it on hold. However, there was a bug that I ran into in one of my death matches when I was warming up. Where for some reason, this will eventually turn to toggle accidentally. So just in case you're wondering why your focus is acting weird just a bit. Uh, the sniper behavior, uh, we're going to be on hold. All duty settings, guys, basically for that. Invert vertical aim, I always turn it off. You guys are crazy. If you turn it on, that's just me. Um, so for the aim inner and outer dead zones, I keep it at 0 0.95 and 0.12. I know it's the defaults, I believe, are 0 0.9 and 0.10. However, I just kept it the way it is. I just adjusted it a bit, mostly because of my PS5 controller. That's it. So for my aim curves, um, I've started to experiment a bit more with them. However, my default right now is extreme. However, I have been experimenting with standard because I know one of my uh, duos loves standard and he goes off with standard. But I've definitely been experimenting with that just a bit. There's a couple games there and there. 
I haven't made up my mind particularly or which one I prefer right now, but all I know is I hate aggressive. Aggressive is the, literally the worst aim curve. It's not even an exaggeration. Uh, for the focus aim curves, I originally, I believe I had it on smooth. However, I changed it up to light mostly because I wanted to experiment, but right now I actually kind of like light a lot more than I like smooth before. Uh, when it comes to movement, nothing really has changed here for now. Uh, crouch behavior, so hold. Uh, walk, run threshold, 0.9. Uh, default movement mode, run. Movement dead zone, 0.2. Nothing, again, nothing changes there. Uh, weapon swap behavior. I like to double tap my triangle. That's just me personally. However, I just also equip fast melee equipped. And when I scroll down, I put L2 and R2 button dead zones to 0 0.01. Just in case if I ever decide to go through the L2 and R2 phase of me firing my weapon. Right now, I use L1 and R1, and that's why I use Tactician. Because right now, at the current moment, you can't swap them for some reason. Plant, diffuse, and stuff. I always recommend this on hold. Only because it's a lot easier for hold when you want to fake uh, plant the bomb or fa fake fuse. That's what I would recommend. Uh, auto equip priority. Okay, so this might be a hot take. I would say every agent in the game will use this strongest auto equip priority. Yes, every agent except one. Yoru is the only agent in the game. If you're a Yoru main, you need to turn this off. Especially when it comes to getting out of your ult and you have a Bucky play or a shotgun play. There's a reason why you go into your ult, you throw a flash down and you pop out. You want the weapon that you're using for that specific play. Most likely a shotgun within that gunfight. A stance indicator, always a good... I, I, pers I personally like this. Now the big thing right now is if you use focus, I know some people actually don't use focus and I respect it. I personally do. If you use focus, you need to turn this off. Walk while in focus is the worst feature and it's keeping you at the low ranks. Especially for you gold and diamond and silver players out there, you need to turn this off. Next for the crosshair, I just keep it simple. I don't really do anything crazy. I experiment with the dot. I don't mind the dot sometimes, but I keep it at five. Nice little plus. Maybe adjust the transparency if you don't like it. But that's what I'm going to stick with. And you don't have to do anything crazy. All you have to do is create crosshair and go under crosshair 4. And that's basically what I use. However, I will recommend you turn on both dark music and enable HRTF. I turn both of these on, especially for a more 3D sound in your earbud or earphones that you use. Now let's get right into a deathmatch to illustrate how I approach these gunfights with these new settings. So right now I'm just using a standard. I'm not doing anything crazy right now. But I'm trying to get as much gunfights as I can with all my settings I have. A nice little 3k at first. Make sure I increase the one taps. Never crouch. Never crouch in team deathmatch.
Three killed. Four dead. Ten kills remaining. Dominating. remaining. remaining one minute remaining 30 seconds left and that's it for the video everybody thank you so much hit that like and subscribe if you appreciate the video don't be afraid to try out these new settings that i have and also don't be afraid to try something new these are not the end all be all settings but it's definitely a worth starting point so that's it everybody i'll see you next time